So this morning I finally come to uh, Kumorvin. Car park was full, I just managed to get one space, so uh, quite lucky. So this morning what I've first done is I've come to these waterfalls uh, just by the car park here. Um, I was expecting less water, so there's quite enough water here to make it uh, a nice shot. Uh, it is a nice little waterfall. Right, I've cut, what I've done, I've come on this side now, um, I'm taking a um, panel shot here of the falls on this angle. I've also gone on the other side of the bridge down on the rocks there to get another angle from that end. Um, so I've tried some different shots, horizontal shots and a vertical shot like this now. Yeah, really nice falls. I can imagine when it's uh, really in full flow. Uh, be quite spectacular really uh, there's a lot more water it'd be nice to have a shot of the uh, bridge actually I might do that I might pop over there just to see how that works uh, so yeah it's gonna be a long day I think I've come up early so I can spend the whole day here and uh, really explore Kumorvin I've been waiting to come here for quite a while now last time I came here I think it was in the summer um, no chance of any parking at all so I'm gonna head over there just to see if I can get a shot of the bridge with the falls if it's any good anyway so I'll uh, put up the shots now of uh, the different angles I've had of the falls and uh, we'll head into the uh, quarry <laughs>
So uh, these must be some sort of uh, barracks for the workmen many years ago. Not too sure, but that's quite a big fireplace. Um, so there must have been, I don't know, maybe a group of four. Could be wrong. So it's interesting to explore somewhere new. So this room's about the same as well. So yeah, I reckon uh, must have been about a group of four or something. Um, could have been a lower level, upper level. Not too sure. But very interesting. There's a lot of these uh, little out huts here. Not too sure what they are, whether they provided coal or something. Not too sure. Looks like there was a a set of smaller barracks here too. So uh, yeah, obviously there was another room here, and uh, you can just see the bottom part of the uh, fireplace over there. So this must have been separate because obviously this is built by slate. Uh, I'd say this is a lot older. It's built by stone, so I'm not too sure about the structure of that or what it was. Um, I'm going to head to that little tiny house over there now. I uh, do like them trees. I always thought that was over there somewhere on the other side. Didn't know it was so close to here. So we're going to head over there next. Right, with this, I've taken a shot from the bottom of the road. Um, showing you on the right of the frame the path leading up to it i had a nice boulder of rock on the left and they're uh, showing this barracks in the nice it's a funny old day it's very windy i bought my dome drone but uh, i'm not going to be able to fly it it's far too windy it's got nice dark clouds which i like the dark and i like the light coming through which is nice contrast so uh yeah so perfect conditions really I've been on the rock over here just to look down of it, down on the barracks with the mountain behind. Uh, so yeah, that's what I've done here. I'm gonna head to this little uh, house over here and uh, I'll pop these images up now. As I was up the top there, the wind just uh, blew my tripod down and uh, the camera dropped. Uh, I do have a ring on the front so it did protect the glass, but I'm not too sure now if the bloody focus is working. So I've seen this little spot here which caught my eye. Um, I like the golden sort of grass here that's right in the foreground. Um, I know that's going to be a bit of a blur when I'm shooting it. I'm not doing it on a fast shutter, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's just that golden colour I really fancy in the foreground there. Um, just waiting for the light to light the house up in the back there. Um, I just think it's a nice shot. I just love the golden colour in the foreground here. 
the light on that white house and those big long trees are really nice. So I'm gonna head over there now and uh, see what we can uh, find over there. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna take the back road up the top here. Behind this house, there's some derelict buildings uh, which look interesting. I'm gonna take the higher path so I can look down at the cottages uh, with the long trees and uh, out onto the lake over here. Now I've noticed my cameras, while it dropped, it's damaged underneath, it's cracked open. So uh, it looks like that's gonna to have to uh, go in for repair. Um, oh my god, I think that camera's had it and I'm not sure the lens is working properly so that's going to be a major bloody cost there now. Um, I was just talking to a guy called John now, he recognised me from YouTube and uh, he had a couple of Lumix S5. Now that's the camera I'm thinking of buying next month. Uh, I just love Panasonic Lumix, I was going to get one for video uh, but apparently the photography is good on the S5. So yeah, so I had a look at the cameras, looks really nice. Uh, I can use these lenses on it with an adapter. So uh, I think that's gonna be my choice for now. And probably later in the year, I am gonna get the uh, 5DSR as well. Right then, so I'm gonna head up here and see if we can get an image from the higher ground. This is really a uh, beautiful shot here. Um, absolutely stunning. What I've done here, um, I've come behind these, uh, this cottage here. You've got a derelict building here. I wanted to get behind these nice long trees and get the lake in over there. Um, looking at this now, I think I'm gonna do a panel. I think so I can get the whole lake here in shot, I like the rocks coming down on the hill here. The light in the background there. I think this is a nice shot. It's just about waiting for the light. I think um, it's gonna be a while before I uh, get a gap. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try a pano on this. I'll just take one here now. Just because we've got the light in the background there. It looks beautiful. So yeah, oh my God. Um, with the camera now, um, it's not focusing on the lens. Um, and so I've had to put it into auto now and uh, work from there, I think. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is probably walk around the tops here. I'm trying to get different angles on this. I'm trying to get the best I can from this. Um, and then I'm gonna head down to the bottom over there where there's the tree and that slate fence and uh, I think I'll call it a day for there because uh, I can't do much with this shitty camera. So yeah, as you can see down here, the plate is damaged at the bottom also. So uh,